Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Frostpunk 2. Uh, kind of hoping that we saw what it just said there because I didn't get a chance to read it. So, interesting. But we're coming into uh, the second, uh, second story mission, New London. Um, yeah. So some really interesting new mechanics so far uh and what the heck is this why does he have like three three different think maybe like there's three buffs they can have and, and why only them okay um frost break to a shallow coal seam and construct an extraction district okay makes sense turn on the generator makes sense construct new housing districts to address the lack of shelter right um okay so this is shallow coal scenes abandoned ruins frozen forests food why is that got like a little is there just a lot there hmm I don't know what that little symbol is for. Usually that means like infinite, but it says there's an amount there. Um, same thing with all these. What the heck is this thing? A compass? Cool. Uh, okay. So I guess we're heading down this way to all of the shallow coal seams. One, two, three, five six seven i don't know eight we should probably clear out around these areas seems like a good plan and then can we also can we do more while that's going on yeah we can materials what's our materials we don't have any oh we're full okay we do need to get to food somehow. Food seems like a good... Oh. Looks like we can actually just come here. There's some... There's food right here that we could do probably into a loop. Okay. And then same thing here. We, we can actually reach both of those. So I'm not that concerned about it. Um, prefabs though. We are going to need prefabs. Three, four, five, six. Oh, we've already we've already done gotten those. Those are uncovered. Okay. Um. All right. Sorry. I'm just just trying to see where we need to go. Actually, a lot of this stuff should probably get uncovered. I have a feeling that yeah, we have eight thousand people. Holy moly. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Why don't we do start doing that over there? Um, and we're gonna need food. Construct districts. Okay, we we actually have quite a few more food districts. Or. Okay, I see. So now it's like a, a six district for food. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, because we're going to need that. And these prefabs. That's extraction districts, right? Five. Something like that. I know we're going to be, like, running through a majority of our stuff, but that's fine. Um, logistics. What is logistics? Send charting expeditions to the Frostlands. Okay, and then if we put them near these things, that's probably good. Um, sheltered from wind. Oh, well, these, that looks like a good place for, uh, what would you call it? 
Um, housing then. Okay, so we'll probably put housing there and housing there. Makes sense. Hmm. We can't... Can't place this somewhere? Oh, is this... Oh, is that what the compass is for? Do we have to make our build a logistics district here? Okay, is there only one of those? Because we should start probably making our... Oh, there's two. Okay. We should probably start making our way towards there. So we'll come through all this and make our way down. Okay. Construct buildings. So we have buildings we can build as well. Research speed is increased. Okay, so... We have ways to research. So this is stuff that we haven't even looked at in... Oh! Okay, there's actually housing central. So this goes into a housing district? I'm assuming. And this goes into a central district? Oh, it goes down there. Okay, that makes sense. Seat of the council, where delegates... Okay, we probably won't build that until they ask us to, then. Construct hubs, so we have heating hubs. Fuel stockpiles. Makes sense. Proximity, so workforce demand in neighboring districts is decreased. Okay, so these have proximity bonuses and things. So material stockpile hubs, you want to put those, we actually probably want to put that like here. That would make sense. Goods stockpile. Plus 50k goods. How do we get goods? Goods limited. Failure to meet the demand for them causes crime to rise and reduces heat stamps income. What the heck are heat stamps? Heat stamps. Oh, so this changed. This wasn't heat stamps in the other one. Interesting. So this is still our income based off of people. And people want goods. They want to trade in their heat stamps for goods. Okay, so we need goods. How do we get goods? Um, goods are all items that satisfy the needs and desires of people living in the city. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, furniture, cutlery, books, games, watches, cigarettes, etc. Um, when goods are scarce, people will fight over them, right? Goods can be produced out of material an industrial oh so we need to make an industrial um, district to produce goods instead of prefabs okay so if we come back here we can make an industrial district wherever it's probably something like this because it's adjacent and we want to come over here to this stuff right yeah so maybe like here, then we can make this stuff. Yeah, this is good planning. Three, four, five, six, like that. And then we can do another extraction here. And then we can put a, uh, what was that? Uh, material stockpile and stuff in here to decrease the... Yeah, okay, okay, we're, we're getting this. But we also need housing districts. So, let's get some housing. Four, five, six. Done. And housing over here. Because it, it, I guess that makes them... Most sense we actually have to. Four, five, six. Done. Okay. 
2200. Um, and I do want to actually just continually frost break, so... Like, we'll kind of... Six, seven, eight. Like, we have to, we have to hate, head out that way anyways. And if we have the material... To do it... I mean... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Um, I know we're probably doing like way too much at the start, but that's okay. There's more prefabs there we can grab. Okay, and then we'll wait. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Frost breaking. I don't know if there's like a limit in how fast things go. If you have more, if you do more things, etc. Tension is notable. Makes sense. Um, heat stamps. Okay, so heat stamps. Our stockpile resources we spent on frost breaking. Oh, so we use those for frost breaking. Okay. So don't go crazy on that. Got it. Increase by satisfying goods demands. All right, what's our heat stamps at? Okay, yeah. Um. Actually, let's let's also pause it really quick here. Let's talk to these people. I want to see. Okay, so relations neutral. Size, 43% of our population are these guys. So these guys we want to keep happy. Stalwarts. Uh, no fervor. Oh, is that what this is? Fervor, one, two, three type of thing. They're also neutral, but they're only 12% of the population, but they're probably a pretty influential part. And New Londoners. <laughs> these are our biggest population. I thought that would have been. Okay. Fun projects. More heat stamps required to fund them. Improve that just improves relations, raise funds, demand funds. Oh, I see. So yeah, you can do this to get more heat stamps, but they don't like you. Got it. Mobilize enforcers. Five guard squads output. You have to be favorable, though. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so this is like the, the guard. Well, I wonder if that changed our choice from the beginning, because I asked, we, we were asked about in the first, in the prologue, about um, the guards, the religion, or neither. So because we say guards, I wonder if this is the faction we get here. Trust, okay. Costs heat stamps, but builds trust. Council, okay, publicly, uh, um, publicly go and be like, hey, join us, you guys are awesome, or condemn, lose seats in the council, and their fervors increased, interesting. Um, and then I'm assuming these guys are very similar, oh, these guys also have fervor. De-radicalize. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have to worry too much about that. And we also have this stuff. Holy moly, there are so many buttons. Okay, let's... <laughs> Progress. We build machines to carve our place in ice. We will bend nature to our will and we will thrive. The heck is this? Zeitgeist. City direction. Oh, so this is the, the city direction. Spirit of time... Describes direction of your city on three axes. Um, technology, economy, and society, right? Laws you pass will go towards each of these, impact them, relations, who you're aligned with. Wow, they really built this out. Okay, cool. Merit. Equality. New opportunities, right? And... The best of us soar and elevate everyone around them, or equality. 
Okay, tradition versus reason. So we have to keep in mind what we want to do with those. Got it. Okay. Once that's frost broken, we'll start frost breaking out here to get even more of the coal done. Um, one, two, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, we're probably going to, like, need two, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. We should probably just start this. It's at least something to get going. Yeah. All right. Alright, sorry, just getting messages. Always lovely when that happens. Uh, so we're frost breaking. We've frost broken a lot of stuff. But we are running a little low on that. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Pause here for a second. Expanding districts. Okay. Expand districts, increase their size. Both in terms of, or scale, in terms of size and capabilities. Expanded districts are more efficient and provide building slots. Okay, so this... Select new tiles around chosen district to start the expansion. Got it. This housing districts have no building slots upon construction. That's why you need to expand it at least once. Oh, so to get that research one building in there, we need to expand it. Did you hear? The stall steward ordered us to set up a new extraction district in the canyon. Um, okay. Let's just kind of let this go and do its thing. Um, I'd like to maybe do this. Get some industrial going. Get our goods so that we're not, like, dropping them down. We're actually making a bit more income with that now. And this is getting us prefabs. Zoom in, expand, demolish. Okay. So we can expand for the cost of prefabs and heat stamps. Um, to something like that. How long does it take? Okay. Oh, and our frost breaking has done. So I wanna I wanna keep heading out these directions though, so we can get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once more, just kind of in this section, because I have a feeling we're going to want to... Five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Clear out a bunch of this. So this is, yeah, this is always an interesting... This is an interesting way. Coal left in London. 642 weeks at current rate. Nice. Um, how do we turn it on? Active. Generator. On. Scraping the barrel. Good work, steward. We have secured a new coal deposit. It's part of the last vein in New York, in New London. Um, there's still some deposits left, but they won't last for long. We'll need to improve our mining to use it efficiently. But the city's communities are voicing different ideas on how to do it. We need to decide whose ideas are worth 
pursuing. Okay, so we can construct buildings. So, expand a housing district, build a research, research an idea for new coal mines, and construct the newly research building in extraction. Okay, makes sense. Okay. We're getting some prefabs, we're getting some heat stamps. Once this is expanded, I wonder if that means if we get, um, okay, so we have new things here, is that what it's saying? Construct buildings, housing, research institute, right, can't do that yet. Yeah, we're, we need more coal. Okay, but that has... We're actually out of heat stamps, we're almost there. I see why we don't want to um, use too much of it at once. Research Institute, done. Building that. And then we can start researching, which is going to be nice. Okay. The generator wakes, a child is born. Okay, wow. People gathered around the generator towers. It wakes with a thundering shudder and bestows heat on us yet again. This is the heart of our city, our last line of defense against the cold. Our first hope for a future... Any future. Steward, there's a couple who says their first child, a daughter, was born at the exact moment the generator sprang to life again. They called her Lily Mae. They asked you to bless her. You gave us hope back. Thanks to you, our child may have a better future you get ahead. Alright. May your life be warm and your winds spare your path. Lily Mae, I wonder if that's a name we'll have to remember for later. Probably will. Research Institute constructed. New ideas. Okay, now we have idea trees. Cool. Different ideas. A small crowd gathers. So, I'll make a note actually after this. A small crowd gathers outside of the new research institute, arguing how to exploit the last coal veins. The stalwarts and new lenders want us to lean on machine power. The frostlanders would have us pursue a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord under the captain's rule. You'll have to dis um, choose who to entrust with developing the ideas. All right. You may not be able to please everyone. That's the frost punk way, isn't it? Idea tree. Okay, so this is this is going to be similar to the the uh, oh, what's the, the faction tree or whatever it was called in frost punk. Um, then the rules and laws and things, you know, ideas, choosing community, to develop an idea, will improve your relationship with them. Coal mines. Well, either way, oh, okay, wow, holy moly. Well, left all for the resource drawer. Okay. So coal mines is where we want to go to. Dust coal mine. Dice disease is slightly increased, 20 materials demand. Construction cost, 80 heat stamps. Um, prefabs. Okay, and 400 people. In an operation where residue coal dust is sucked up and compressed into briquettes to make maximum use of the resource. This is from the Frostlanders. 12 weeks. The lasting coal mine. This is from the New Londoners. So this is a majority of the people. Operation Explosive Drilling to rapidly exploit coal deposits, generating noxious Fumes. Squalor is increased. Don't, not a big fan of that. 
materials needed to maintain infrastructure. It's actually caused a lot less. Slightly increased. I like slightly increased versus increased. And the stalwarts also want to do the blasting coal mine. This seems like the worst of the two ideas, doesn't it? Like, this seems the safer option. But this pleases more people. Okay, stal stalwarts and new Londoners agree. Well, I'd rather do this one, so we're going to do that. Um, but I do want to see, like, this tree. This is, this is cool. Housing insulation. Base heat demand is decreased. Everyone likes this. Okay, cool. Um, sawmills, hot ho hot houses. Yeah, yeah. Low waste hot house. No one else shares this idea. Stalwarts agree. So these two seem to be okay. Okay, okay. This is this is cool. I I can get in with this. Council needs to be constructed to research some of this. Factories. Um plus ten prefabs, salvaging factories. Okay, so you just get more more stuff for salvaging. Mechanical. Interesting. Frostland, so this is like heading out the exploration path, scout headquarters, etc. Okay. Um, city, stuff to do with city. Housing blocks, okay. So, uh, let's see, constructing these districts. Residential tower, providing compact shelter with low sanitation. Right. Or housing blocks. Okay. Society, hospitals, watchtowers, crime. Interesting. Why is that red? And hubs. Uh, fighting hubs. Air air transport hub? I guess we did see those um, like hot air balloons and zeppelins and stuff, so that's kind of neat. Okay, okay. We need 50 before we can um, action that idea. So as soon as we hit that, we'll pause it and go do that. I guess I could have hit um, the second. What is this? Tension is severe. Extremely increased by severe cold. Greatly increased by notable disease. Running out of coal, etc. Okay. Um, heating, coal mines. Let's go this because I think that's just better. Dust coal mines. And then we'll see how much they disapprove of us. Uh, oh yeah, we need, yeah, we need more heat stamps so we can get this. Okay. I can see why frost breaking right away is a bad idea. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, neutral, indifferent, indifferent. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, yes. I know. You guys need... I mean, we could do... We could do um, emergency shifts here, but I don't really want to do that yet. Construct district, extraction district, please. Three, four, five, six. Let's do that. That seems like a good plan. That gets most of it. We can always expand this one into that one. It's probably a good plan. Because this should help do this. And that should drop this. What the heck? Oh, it, oh, that's a train. Those are train lines. That's cool. You don't see them walking anymore. They take the train. 
four weeks, five days left, 48 registered is sick. Yes, yes. There we go. And let's take this. Oh, yeah, so this is this is something that I wanted to um, bring up there. Was that's something they didn't fix in this game. The notation that you have an event pop up somewhere, you just kind of have to be looking and see it. I much prefer like a bigger like boom and like it flashes at you type of thing something so that you don't miss these events um a byron 55 drill sergeant admiring the generator to us your symbol of what we should be under that mean unyielding fortitude may we all stand so bold against the frost okay got it nice so we're actually bringing in some demand here, right? This is almost done. We're, we're actually getting a lot of this stuff. Research an idea and then construct it. Um, would like to expand. We'll do that because then they're connected and become heated better, right? That's how that works, to my understanding. We actually have to, we we have coal coming in. Um, we do need materials. We're actually running low on those, so we're gonna have to build out over here. Four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So we will build that extraction district here. Five, six. That seems pretty gosh darn good to get those going up. And our food surplus is actually pretty low as well. So the next time we're going to do this as well and do it over here. Yeah. Okay. Look at all that coal coming in. Hundred percent done. New building proposed by Frostlanders. Okay. Um construct building extraction coal mine. We're actually out of people. That's unfortunate. Um, 80 heat stamps, prefabs, 150 coal. Okay. So we can't do this yet until either of these people come back. Or, you know, we disable something from happening for now. there has been food supply doesn't seem like it's very good this seems like we need to upgrade that six registered is sick okay let's uh let's hold up let's pause let's deactivate that for now get our people back and now let's build this dust coal mine. Well, I think I'd rather have it here because this is the bigger one. So let's do that. Yeah, our materials are like Plummity, why? A place to settle differences. False you, steward. Who should continue to lead? Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Why did we... Why did it come all the way over there? That was weird. Okay, so we got that going. 
captain is dead, why shouldn't he get a say in his successor? Um, so we need a council hall. So we'll build that, because we need to. But materials. Extraction districts demand. Oh, okay. I see. So we, we're actually going to need more of those. We actually can't do frost breaking yet. So we need more. Because there was more, um... Yeah, more materials down here, which... Or actually right in here would be nice to grab. Yeah, because we need some. All right. Council gathers for the first time. We can vote on new laws. First council session. Anticipation fills the air as the council opens. The captain ruled with a firm hand for years, but those times died with him. Now the communities of the city want their say. All right. The stalwarts maintained order on behalf of the captain and adhered to what they claim was his vision for New London, progress, merit, and reason. New Londoners and Frostlanders clash over our survival strategy, though neither has a firm stance on economic or social issues. Then there are those who live who view the stalwarts with contempt for their role in New London's history, but they keep the shadows for now. Based on your handling of the coal crisis, the first decision is whether you should maintain your role as steward. Okay, well, let's check it out. Kind of neat looking. Okay, people are divided. When you return to the council in the future, you will be able to pro propose new laws to vote upon. But for now, a special vote needs to happen. Communities in New London have to accept you as their leader. Be careful if you fail, it will be the end of your rules. So this could be a fast game. Click on a delegate to see their profile. Okay. The council is where delegates vote for laws. Laws can greatly impact a city and affect its zeitgeist, right? Propose laws, however, they must be voted in majority to take effect. Some cases you need two thirds majority. Okay. Communities and factions will fight for or against different laws depending on their views, etc. Got it. Makes sense. Negotiate with delegates, try and influence people, or we can just vote. Okay, so let's take a look at the New Londoners. Community, um, attach the city and its generator. Citizens of New London have stayed together through thick and thin. The value technology, which they credit for getting them through the Great Storm. Seek to pass community service and city development efforts. The Stalwarts. Disciplines of the captain who introduced order as a core tenant of New London. Strict, controlling, and devoted to the captain's memory. Community service, city development, contagion prevention, infectious badge, childhood, mandatory school. I mean, that doesn't seem bad. <laughs> so, they both want, so they both want city development effort. Right? City development effort. Community service expedition support. Okay. Originally hailing from New London, these colonists of Frostlands outposts try to establish a permanent foothold behind the city. The whiteout years uh, destroyed that dream, but taught them the value of adaptation and grit. Okay. So... Voting in 10 weeks. Negotiate. I'm assuming we can be like, hey, promise them things. Yeah. 
making a promise to negotiations will make all hesitant delegates in the chosen community vote for the proposed law. Additionally, some delegates who are against the law will also switch sides. Right? Factions more monolithic and will not engage in negotiations about laws that are against their worldview. Okay. So if we negotiate, everyone is open to negotiation. So the New Londoners, this would be our biggest poll of people, and the Frostlanders. So New Londoners, my terms, vote for, and city development effort ventilation or vote against I see well we I don't think we can make this either I mean that seems pretty good um, I mean, that's also pretty good. All right, let's go back. Negotiate, and what about Frostlanders? Voting for weather adjusted shifts, condemning. Oh, condemning the storm. <laughs> Survivalist headquarters, um, and pick scouts, intensive drilling, and oversee exploring. Exploration time is decreased and territory threat level is decreased. Interesting. Okay. Um, and the stalwarts they want liberated youth. Young adults are encouraged to experiment free from arbitrary browns and judgments. Teaching hospital. Hospitals outfitted with dedicated equipment and facilities provide medical education and training to students. I mean, that seems pretty good. Research building, teaching hospital. Okay. Um, pass the vote of confidence. Can we just pause time for a second? new law available voting on confidence okay i mean i guess we're just going for it perfect we've what passed the law barely done i didn't know that that was just going to be for that. Okay, got it. A steward, you shall remain then. Good. There are challenges ahead. Expanding coal extraction is a great ex success, but the vein will only last for so long. We need to explore the Frostland for a permanent source of fuel. Otherwise, the city will have no future at all. We must find more access to the Frostlands. Build a logistics station, which we're already planning on doing because we already have frost broken out that way. Um which is great so oh that's not what i said i said construct this one two three four five six done that's our logistics we'll do that district employment district employment can be manually controlled oh we can manually do this oh fantastic all right let's pause let's pause time because i want to activate this and just do that but i want it on production of goods there we go same thing like Extraction district. Prefabs remaining. We can actually do that. 
an increase there. Okay. Um, extraction, dust coal mine, so those are the only things we can do. We don't really want to build more districts yet, but we could pass a new thing, right? Housing insulation, advanced coal mining. Um, operations use a large vertical shaft, allow more teams to mine coal at the same time. We need 400 more workforce, which is rough. Advanced blasting. I don't really like either of those things. I'd rather go housing insulation. I mean, that just seems like a great, great thing to do. Hubs. So these are node connecting districts, elevated railway, transport cargo, boost efficiencies, right? City. Okay. So housing blocks. Let's take a look at some of these dense housing blocks. New Londoners and the Frostlanders agree with residential towers. Okay. And the stalwarts are like, nah. <laughs> maintenance. Unproductive do maintenance. Workers do not meet their quotas, must they act after their shifts to perform machinery and infrastructure maintenance. Material demand is decreased, but and pr production efficiency is increased. I mean, that seems, that just seems good. Um, and there are no other options. Got it. Work compensation. Just increased bonuses. How does no one else share this? Okay, so I mean that work compensation seems good. And maintenance duty seems good. Um, scout headquarters. No one else shares this one. 400 base of operations for the scouts versus base of operations Territory threat level decreased and exploration time is decreased. Oh, this is this is decreased versus slightly decreased. Staff officers subject handpicked scouts to intensive drilling and oversee. Analyzed and optimized logistics support. Okay, like I mean this. This isn't a bad one. We should probably do this ahead of... Okay. Logistics bays. Essential survival gear. Provide training on how to use it. 20 Frostland teams outputs. 15 Frostland teams outputs. Automated. Vanguard. Okay. Harvester hangers. 20% harvesting efficiency. 10%. Weird. And skyways. Everyone Everyone agrees with this one. Unlock skyways connections from built in the frostland to allow transport of more resources from colonies and outposts. Okay, cool. I know. There's so many things in here that we want to do. Okay. Um, I do think like housing insulation. It's probably going to be a good one to do soon. So let's let's just have it go at it. That's building. We're going to need more materials very soon. Colder season heat demand increases. And actually, we're, we're going to need that, like, actually now, aren't we? Um, 200 workforce. We actually don't have enough workforce for all this. We don't have enough workforce for everything. Why not?
Okay. Something like that. You know, let's do that. We're getting some prefabs this way, but then we need to get the materials over here. One, two, three, four. And then we can go here and then expand. Well, actually, we can't. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. Let's frost break there and then we'll do materials there. Because we need the we need it. We need people. Too many sick people as well. Okay. This is nearly done. Oh, we're on pause. That would make sense. Logistics di district built. We can now survey frozen lands around New London. Okay, so here we pause this. Okay, so this is similar to the previous one. The gorge, the foothills, the frozen bay. Highlands. So we have overpopulation. Oh, makeshift shelters. Overpopulation, dwindling fuel reserves, forced many residents of New London take refuge over here. They're waiting for. Okay. So this requires us. We don't have Frostland teams. Um, okay. A way station for our scouts. Okay. Got it. How do we make Frostland teams? Or is this what we need to like research now? Permit source of fuel. So let's. Do we think the foothills or frozen bay? The Gorge or Highlands. Dangerous. Many scouts will be injured. Possible findings. Prefabs, cores, Frostland dwellers. Frostland dwellers. Let's go to the foothills then. Required. Launch expedition. Had a coal mine, so maybe there's left over. Okay. These things are all happening. Okay. Return to the city. Once that's done, we'll build the materials over here. Because we're actually running very low on that. Very nice to actually have coal coming in, though. This is... Yeah, this is interesting because we're not... Oh. Stockpiles depleted. Who are the stockpiles materials the captain has gathered have run out? Right? That's... That is the plan. Alright. Uh, build districts here... Oh, it's a deep deposit. Got it. Okay. Extraction. Four, five, six. Once that's built. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. We can kind of see this. All right. Okay, I do want to make, all right, make a decision here on the Frostland to go faster. 
So the logistics bay, Frostland team's output. Yeah, that's not happening right now. Scouts, though. Um, 59% of the city, 9% of the city. I think we do this. Research idea. And here, looming cold. As the captain's authority weakened, different groups started pulling the city in their own direction. New London grew overpopulated, whiteouts ruined expansion attempts, and now coal is finally running out. Without heat and shelter, people start freezing. Uh, although the captain appointed you before passing, people are anxious. You're not up to the task. Prove them wrong, steward. Got it. Um, provide shelter and heat. So we need more... Oh, yeah. Probably another housing district, eh? So, can we do another housing district? We need a few more heat stamps. And then we will. Like the next go on heat stamps. 107 froze to death. Yeah, well that's not good. Deaths due to cold. <laughs> People continue. All right, I see. Trust falls. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, we're so close to having, being able to build that. Come on. Take over. Pause. Housing district. Okay, so let's four, five, six. Let's do that. Get another housing district up there. Because that should account for a majority of that, right? We might need another one, but that's okay. Okay. Can't make people eat sawdust yet either. <laughs> uh, we're getting there. Law proposal. New law available. Rule. Okay. So this is how we get laws in. Guard enforcers. Um, the steward may deploy the squads of well-trained, well-equipped guards put down disruptions otherwise keep the peace. Makes sense. Guided voting. The steward may declare motion vitally important to the city's survival, curtailing debate, and convincing many wavering delegates. Um, a lot of people do not like that one. People are divided. Also, not many people like that. Ethics, family, no common rules. All right, so we could go family apprenticeship, percentage of active. More people are for mandatory school than there is family apprenticeship. Okay. Research speed increased, but heat stamps decreased. I think that's okay. Funerals. Harvesting. Funerals. Disease. Trust loss. Support city health care. Actually, that's kind of nice. We might want to do that one. Um, city. Basic necessities. Holy moly, look at all these things. Free essentials. Based on availability, city will ensure all citizens provided they need to survive for free okay 50 50 paid essentials foster responsibility reward work um citizens we charged a small fee 
production efficiency is increased and heat stamps is increased, right? Contagion. Tension is slightly increased. Infectious badge. Support supported quarantine. Right? Like both of these things could be good. Holy moly, there's so many things. Heat stamps. There's four different things. Supported by this. A lot of people don't like this one. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare. Uh, main district produces a decent amount of prefabs. That's nice. Heat pipe watch. Heat demand is decreased. Or service exemptions. I mean, this seems good. That's supported by a lot of people. We might go the easy route then. And do that. Food additives. Here we go. Citizens will provide some food. Forged additives. Or chemical additives. Uh, diseased is marginally increased. I hate that. Uh, versus goods. Goods demand is decreased. Goods production efficiency is increased. Okay. I don't think we need either of those things right now. So let's go here and do this one. Let's propose that. And honestly, I think we can just vote for it. I don't think we need to wait. I think we're going to get enough, more than enough, for it. The eyes have it. Perfect. And no negotiations needed. We're happy with how that worked. Done. So we're going to get some prefabs every week, no matter what. Material surplus. It looks like we are exactly getting what we need for this. Right? From what I understand. How that works. How this lo looks like. This is hard to tell. Okay. Okay. I don't think we want to do too much more here, right? This actually building. Um, oh, the Scouts Headquarters, what we're currently working on right now. 61 registered as sick. All right, we're just out of heat stamps because I wanted, kind of wanted to expand this one as well so we could get... Um, another research facility going. Oh, if it's too close, they don't like it. Got it. Q3. Do something like that, expand that, and put another research facility down over there. Um, and that actually makes this fulfilled a little bit nicer. I feel like we're going to need another housing district, though. Just like one more, maybe around the food. Or we start coming up this way, maybe. Or down this way. I don't know yet. Can we build one yet? No, we need 40 heat stamps. Um, construct building. Oh, we need 100 heat stamps. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, I do want to get one more housing district, though. Let's 
something like that. We'll start building it there so that this demand is nearly met. Then we'll just have a lot less sick. Assigned research increases relations. What was that? Okay. Let's check this out. This is Sue Miller, street urchin. Cindy's pa went and got her a governess. Looked like she's going to be a duchess or something. Not on our watch. We roughed up. All right. Ferguson's boys will learn this too. If they try and wife us again tonight, we'll put razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. It'll be good fun. Lack of a raw regulating childhood is causing tension throughout the city. Okay. Interesting. So we want a law for childhood next, it feels like. Um, 100%? Okay, so we've explored this, meaning we can now go to three different question marks. Okay. Um, old observatory. Well, okay. Need new stable source of heat to convince all of them. Okay, we'll come back to that then. Rusted engine. Dismantle the wreck. We get two cores. Okay, which are probably used for automatons, which we can't do yet. Possible settlement. A mining complex inhabited by children long time. Oh, hey! We've seen this before. This is in the first game. Over the years, they grew older, became citizens of New London. The last miners were ordered home by the captain, though some coal remains in the shafts. The approach trail is in core condition, but we found a warehouse with prefabs. You take them or leave them in place. 300 prefabs. Or. Let's. Future Minos will surely appreciate a maintained trail. Let's do that. Build a trail or sky trip. Now, post here could increase until it's. To... Wow. Okay. How do we do this? What is this? But we just. Oh. Uh... Okay. So this. This is similar to what we've created before, right? Um, the outposts, but rather that... So we actually have to... Okay, that requires heat stamps, which we do not have at this point in time. Okay. Got it. Well, let's dismantle the wreck. And then while we're at it, possible findings, deadly, dangerous, deadly, frozen bait. Let's start that expedition while we're going. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, we don't want to do anything else there. Okay. Man, this is quite a lot of different stuff deal with right now our food is also dwindling um we need to get more food over here so building a food district would be good Ooh, this all of this trying to get this all connected would be nice two three four let's go five six and we might oh we have a question on cores cores are pivotal components of machinery from the era preceding the great frost these are essential in upgrading the generator and constructing advanced buildings right you can only find them in the frost lands two three four five okay Shallow iron vein. Okay. 
feeling we're gonna want to frost break some more stuff, but we are out of heat stamps. We need to increase that. Law proposal. Okay, so city. Uh, not city. Society. Childhood. <laughs> I mean, that does kind of suck, but it does go for that. Um, I mean, percentage of active workers increased. That is very nice. Um, this will be easier to get past, I think. We just go for it. We are accepted. Um, I mean, we have a pretty high vote for. Let's just vote for it. I think we're going to get it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. And then we're going to need some new ideas going on pretty soon here. The delegates have reached a decision. A new law takes hold. Okay, unfulfilled 50. Let's do that. 35 now. Okay. We actually can't go all the way up. That's funny. Okay. I think it was around 50 is what we needed for this. And our coal demands are low right now, which is not great. still have some weeks left so here scout training um, territory threat levels are decreased exploration time is decreased interesting okay um, either way um, actually frostlands skyways skyway connections built in frostlands transports of more Okay. Um, heating. I'm debating that. Um, oh, else's factories. Salvaging those. No. Sawmills. That's the sawmill which frozen wood is cut into usable materials. Versus mechanized sawmills, okay? Worker shifts, weather adjusted. Machine-centric shifts. I'm tempted for that because we do kind of need some more workforce. But the Z's going down is nice. And heat demand is very nice. Okay. Hot houses. Um, okay. Gives us hot houses. Chemical or blow waste. Industrial sized hot house, organic waste, vats. Okay. Industrial sized hot house with chemical nutrients. Okay. I don't think we need either of those yet. Um, city, work compensation, famine prevent prevention. Okay, housing blocks. Oh yeah, maintenance duty seemed like a decent one as well. Material demand decreased, proficiency increased. No one else is sharing this. But it seems like a good thing. Same thing with work compensation. Production is just increased. I mean, both of those things seem like a good thing to grab. 
um, society. Ooh, we could go hospitals and youth as well. So hospitals. Research speed slightly increased. Regularly cure significant number of sick absentees. That would be nice. Versus a hospital. Regularly cure some sick absentees. Requires more people, but that seems better. No one else shares this idea. Okay, versus youth. Liberated youth. Trust rises slightly. Youth employment. Bolster city's workforce, but decrease heat stamps. Ugh. And watchtowers. I don't think we need these yet. Crime is decreased. Surveillance watchtower versus watchtower. Requires more people. Okay. Versus hubs. Okay, we can't create these yet. Um, where do we want to go with this? We need so much stuff. Filtration towers constructed in housing districts. Squalor is decreased. Okay. Oh, there's, there's so many things to do and try and get. And I'm always under the impression that we should always be doing one of these whenever we can. Harvesting efficiencies. Vanguard Logistics Bay. Scout training. I, I'm liking that. I might just go with this territory threat level decreased because that seems like a good thing. Versus Skyways. And everyone likes this. Maybe we get this because we're going to make those connections. We can make them Skyways. Done. We'll go with that. Everyone likes it. And we'll just kind of have this go now. There we go. We've got more food coming in but still not enough food and i feel like we need another one more housing district maybe over here um available output extraction available demand is 340 so that's actually decreasing a decent amount, which is not great. Same thing with our coal. It's decreasing. Nine registered is sick. That's no good. Yeah, I really want to get like some hospitals going or something. Um, I think that would be great. I think that'll be the next research that we look at doing. Okay, we have infectious agents. The first crack steward during a routine medical examination performed by stalwarts, a small group of Frostlanders refused to be accessed. Checkups are relics of years past when a cough could endanger the city. That's gone now. We've adapted. No point continuing this invasion of privacy. Okay, the stalwarts maintain regular physicals to help ensure the safety of our workers. It's vital we monitor our citizens' health. One poor man pushed back. We had epidemics in the past. We mustn't allow another one. Agreed. No. We'll allow. I mean, that seems like a good thing to do. We really don't want a pandemic to happen. Um, Skyways are two weeks out, and we should be able to build a bunch of them when, when this happens. We're kind of just going through time here to get this done and then we'll grab and we'll create those pause
Bays. Frozen Bay is also explored. Skyways. So Skyways, linking an outpost using Skyways, increases its resource output. Establishing Skyway connection also improves shipping capacity. Okay. Bonus ones only apply. Tire connection from one location to another is constructed using Skyways. Use that button. Okay. And then... Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, let's... One, check this out. Cavern near the bay. We found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostland gear and neatly laid side by side and left to freeze with black oil markings over their closed eyes. A ghastly burial ritual. Map suggests we found it. We're heading to an old machine somewhere near the desolate coast. A machine we require a source of fuel. We should investigate. Okay. Community of Frostlanders are eking out a pitiful living off moss and small fish with no furnace. They survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder. Okay. We'll do that. On top of that, ooh, this is food. Okay. Alright. We do need... We do need this. Skyway connection. Right? Because that's just to there. If I if I see that correctly, that's what we needed. And then a Skyway connection. Harvest. Okay. Okay. I think... Oh, we don't have requirements for that. Got it. Okay. We'll come back into New London now. Now this should give us the coal that we need. And then we just have to focus on food that we need. Which we're actually very close. I'll last for only a few more days. It's fine. It's okay. Well, we're getting more coal now. Eight registered is sick. Is this not on now? What's going on? Oh, did it get warmer? The generator. Oh no. On. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out all of these, um, all of these. <laughs> Alright, Nell Sinkfeld. Little Jolie's been coughing all night, his forehead's as hot as a generator, it's them turners, I know it's them. We got that new flu, please lord, lack of law regulating contagion. Okay, so they want the contagion thing. Okay, well, one resource um city society hospitals that's what we need hospitals teaching hospital would be fantastic a significant number some this seems like a much better idea and then contagion contagion uh, survival? Nope. City? Contagion prevention. Supported. Quarantine. Contagious people placed in quarantine and cared for by the city in dedicated accommodation. Or infectious badge. 
contagious people require to wear a specific badge that allows others to limit their... Okay, tension is slightly increased, but disease is decreased versus disease is significantly increased, but shelter demand is increased. I don't like that. Um, I think we'll propose this. Um... Do we need to negotiate for this? So negotiation. Eight delegates, four. They really want this. So New Londoners and Frostlanders. If we say vote for their terms, enact expedition support. Use a community action on Frostlanders, grant agenda, or weather adjusted shifts. I mean, I do like that, but... Okay, versus New Londoners, if we get them to vote for, they want mechanized scouts. Grant agenda. Ooh. Mass-produced goods. We can enact mass-produced goods. Done. Let's do that. Oh, I think we would have passed this just fine. So mass-produced goods they want. Um... Uh, I see. Attention, citizens. A new law is in effect. Okay. Fishing village. We're getting a hundred from that. Abandoned mind outpost. So are our skyways done then? They are. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So we're actually getting... We're actually getting enough... Um, stuff now. Okay. Um, we want 100% on that. We want... 100% on that. And then we want to pause here because we have new buildings we can do. Logistics. A scout headquarter. Which we'll put there. And I did want to... Oh, that required so much. Okay. Um... I do want to get another housing district when we're able to, because that demand keeps going up. I know, because we're bringing in more people. Yes, yes. But the more people we can, or the more districts we can link together, it's kind of nice. So many people are freezing to death. Ugh, not bad. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone's fine. All right, um, housing district. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do that on that side. Find permanent source of fuel outside the city. Pass mass produced goods, okay. Okay. Oh, we have another request. Daring to dream. Council inspired people to suggest new ideas about the city's future. Cool. Oh. What is this?
Okay. So this is new. It's another new mechanic. So many new mechanics. So we're learning this game as we go. So 539 of the Frostlanders organized a new faction, the Pilgrims. Resilient spirited community held together by the bonds of tradition. They seek to pass community service expedition support, supported quarantine family apprenticeships. Okay. Their manifest, adaption, equality, tradition. They can unlock the playing guides. Good relationship perk, scout volunteers. I so we have a new faction. Right now they're opposing. They're supporting. They're neutral and neutral. Okay. This is so far okay for us. Um, unfulfilled. Okay. So I think we're going to need to be breaking more, cross-breaking more stuff too. Just go a little bit faster here. I do want to get more and more people in here because... People are dying. It's not exactly a great thing. So actually wouldn't mind... Oh, we're out of workforce because no one's... Really? Housing districts take workforce? Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Disease weakens our workforce steward, poor conditions. I'm sure there's enough heat, shelter, and food. Yes. In fact, we're about to get hospitals. So, once that's done, because we've already expanded this one, right? Yeah. Then we just need to get the workforce up so we can put a hospital in there. Resources are nearly depleted. It's fine. Okay. So let's drop that down because we need that. And let's build teaching hospital here. Because that will help out significantly. There we go. General sick, employed. Right, in theory, that should help out significantly. Um, this is nearly done. So yeah, we do need to start breaking more stuff, which we need more workforce. Oh, heat stamps. Pilgrim suggest action. We're struggling with heat stamps. Pilgrims have come. We should pass durable goods. They have a way to solve heat stamps that warrants our attention. Promise pilgrims to pass durable. Goods. Can I see. Marginally improved worsened. Um, okay. Durable goods? Sure. Mass-produced goods? Durable goods. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll probably go mass-produced. <laughs> They're probably in the same vein, aren't they? The Frostlanders are skeptical. So under goods, durable... Goods production. Yeah, no, I already said that. So we're going to go for it. My bad. Nice. Trust rises. They're going to be like, hey, why did you do that? And that's okay. It's fine.
All right. And yeah, see, now we're getting people back in. Okay. Um, idea tree. We did hospitals. Recovery hospital. Interesting. Oh, so you can get multiple things. We don't just have to go for one thing in it. A treatment. Experimental treatment. Conservative treatment. Interesting. This is stalwarts. Pilgrims. Disease has just decreased. Research speed marginally. That's let's conduct medical trial. I think we might just want to go with something like this, conservative treatment. Um, but I do want to come up here to like maintenance duty and just do that. Unproductive do maintenance. Materials demand slightly decreased. Oh, this is pilgrims versus significantly decreased. Yeah, let's do that. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Goods significantly decreased. Done. Okay. Warmer season heat demand decreased. Population growth. Okay, what did it say here? A hundred or a thousand people. Population growth. Okay. Significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute this influx of settlers from the Frostlands, births, etc. Okay, so. We need a few things here. One. Do these people want to come here? Stable source of heat. Okay, come back later. Um, desolate cr coast. It's safe. Required 10. How do I know how many? Oh, okay. So we need another... We need another um logistics just do that we get another one going um our food is actually going back down again i'd like to do the frost breaking up here towards that food materials are also down a lot again holy moly and we're going to want to get like this stuff too logistics districts here to get these prefabs interesting okay so first off let's go for food four five six seven eight Something like that. Fifteen a week. Yes, yes. That should go up more here. Okay. Um... But we should max that out then, shouldn't we? That should help out with food production. Mandatory school promises a better future. Nice. It sure does. That is what we picked, right? <laughs> I did, it's hard to hard to remember what we actually picked. Um, city. 
society mandatory school yes okay good all right now we just need more heat stamps so we can break more things so we can get um more food three four Like that. And then also down here. Because we need these materials, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. New law pro pro proposed by... Oh, they just are proposing it. All due. Materials demand is significantly decreased. Okay, there's a lot more people against it than are for it. Won't neg negotiate, won't negotiate against, for, mostly hesitant. So new Londoners, if we get you to vote for, we could research mechanized sawmills. Okay. Or we could negotiate with the Frostlanders in a vote for for bio waste hot house. Untreated sawmills or Pathfinder Scout. We could go for Pathfinder Scouts. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. People are still divided, but this could be okay. We only need like seven more votes. Yeah, okay, there we go. The proposed laws have been approved. Perfect. Pass durable goods and research Pathfinder Scouts. Pathfinder, Frostland, Scouts, Pathfinder Scouts. I mean, I wanted to get that anyway, so there we go. Um, speaking of which, we now should also be able to head over here and launch that expedition. Mountains is also safe, and the approach is also safe. Okay. Let's... This this is getting more and more expansive, which is nice because the uh, the first one, the first mission, the prologue, um, it was kind of hard to tell how this was all going to work. Um, we need more shelter as well, which we should probably build out towards here, maybe towards the food district. Um, yeah, there's tons of food. The prefabs, though, being so low is not great. Program War, Mandatory School. Steward, people are increasingly arguing over curriculum taught in the schools. Uh, provide more survival training. We're filling these kids' heads with numbers and useless junk. We ought to take them on field trips to hunt. Exact opposite. We can teach children how to think, come up with new solutions, then outdated practices. I mean, that's kind of true. Harsh world out there. Um, mandatory school no longer increases research speed, but gives you food. Increases research speed even more, or balanced, and everyone hates it. 
kind of like the food. I'm going to do that because then we actually get a little bit of food coming out of that input. Look at that. 28 from food for just doing that. Done. I mean, the Frostlanders and Pilgrims, I, I feel like I'm more inclined to go with them. Um, but there's so many more of them. And that's kind of hard to figure out. Like, who do we bring in and stuff? You want to appease everybody, but you know you can't. Um, and we've been going at this for a good amount of time. We're almost to the... Oh, look at that. It just saved. So, the fact that the game just saved is telling me one thing. That I should probably cut the recording here. So, hopefully you're enjoying um, Frostpunk 2 and this playthrough. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's got its quirks that we're still trying to figure out. The UI is a lot different. I don't think it's... It's, it's going to take me some time to really read a lot of these and how this works. Um, I wonder, too, if they have... Because there's, like, the tutorial button, which... Okay, whatever. Um, and they have the, the left alt button for overlays and base economy. Um, hold left alt. To preview... Yeah, so you can kind of just see some stuff but they don't really have like the big big charts and stuff that Frostpunk 1 had that I've been able to see so far so you know maybe maybe that's in there and I just haven't found it yet um, all in all so far though this is good, and I think it's uh, so far a pretty good successor of Frostpunk 1. It's, you got a lot of the same stuff. They've added a lot of cool things. These factions are neat. The uh, the idea tree and the laws, the council, very similar but different, which is nice. Um, the size of the city is going to be huge. I'm still not sure I like the day to week versus, you know, and the... 14,000, like, thousands of people versus hundreds of people. Uh, Frostpunk 1 was more like that, um, Spanish style city builder where, you know, you can min-max, like, individuals. Here, we don't really get those individuals, so it does kind of suck. It's, you can't really just click, you can't find people and just click on them. Be like, hey, who are you? What's your story? But I understand that. Um, and this is cool. You can actually see that heading out too. Yeah, that's that's super cool. The, the map design and stuff is very nice. The music's still good. Um, no complaints about the music, so. Yeah, so thanks again for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.